Let's talk about an issue that's, that's literally close to your heart. Uh, Ohio lawmakers are soon going to bring up legislation uh, that would ban women from being legally allowed to terminate a pregnancy based on a diagnosis of Down syndrome. Governor Kasich has not yet taken a position on the bill. Do you want him to? Yes, I want him to. Um Hmm, do I think that it should be legal for a mom to snuff out the life of her baby just because the child has one extra chromosome? And um, not to personalize it too much, but I, I, Trigg's inside. I wish that he would, uh, like he so often does, uh, come over and, and tap me on my shoulder and, and want to whisper something to me and, and share in whatever experience I'm going through. I, I wish that more people could meet uh, kids like uh, Trigg and so many others who have that extra chromosome. They're... they're amazing, wonderful kids. They teach us more than we're ever going to be able to teach them. They keep us uh, grounded and, and put things in perspective in our lives. Um, no, I don't think because the child has one extra chromosome, they should be able to snuff that life out. Um, when I was pregnant and very early on at 12 weeks, got the diagnosis that uh, Trig would be born w with Down syndrome, uh, I know what moms go through when, when they're given that, at the time, to be honest with you, kind of devastating news, you know, it, it makes your world stop spinning for a bit there, and, and there's some fear there of the unknown, certainly there was fear in, in my heart about, um, you know, how in the world are we going to be able to handle the challenges up ahead, not necessarily thinking of uh, the beauty that could come from a child being d different, being uh, unique. And um, as the months went by, though, and as I prayed about it, God, you know, it makes, please change my heart and my, my eyes so I can see the beauty and all this so that I'll be ready to be a good mom to uh, this child. And he answered my prayers and awesome, Trig's so wonderful. But I do know what moms go through. And, and Jake, I think the reason that 85% um, in some areas, 90% of babies who have Down syndrome are aborted is that fear of the unknown, and because culture has told these women, and again, I was there, has told these women, you're not capable of being able to handle and nurture and love and raise a, a child with special needs, and um, it's just so much easier and convenient for you to just end it, pretend like it never happened, get rid of the child, uh, get rid of the baby, and, um, you know, get on with a convenient life of your own. Uh, so... With, with culture's kind of overall mindset of life being able to just be thrown away, I know why that stat is what it is, is so high, is tragic, and heck, whatever I can do to, to help parents, though, who are facing such a challenge at the beginning especially, to let them know you can do it, and it's beautiful. I wouldn't change anything about Trig. I wouldn't change anything about how this has um, so solidified our, our family support for the sanctity of life and for tolerance, for accepting people who are a little bit different.